Our heat pump and cylinder have arrived, so let's do an unboxing. And this is probably the biggest unboxing video I've ever done. Anyway, let's get on with it. First of all, what did we get for the heat pump? We got these massive big rubber feet. So these are anti-vibration feet. So we got two of those. What's in this box? Oh. <laughs> More anti-vibration connections. So these are the pipe connections for the heat pump. Comes completely washes. Oh, these are the these are the feet. These are the bolts for the feet and the nuts. So we've got those. Let's get these scratched off. I hate these things because you always end up tripping over them and breaking your neck. It's like Christmas all over again. Not that I got anything this big, but there you go. Not the biggest one. So this is a Daikin heat pump. Oh my word. That is, if that is the instruction manual, it must be in a million languages because that's the biggest manufacturer's instructions I've ever seen. What's in this box? Ooh. Fancy controller. Well that seems to be about it. Oh no. More feet in that bag. Now let's get the cylinder unpacked. Now what we have here is an Altherm pre-plumbed unvented cylinder. Now its water capacity is a 150 litres, which is at the top of this cylinder, and it also has a buffer tank built in at the bottom for the air source heat pump. Now this cylinder is made for diking by a company called World Heat. Now, I only found this out just before Christmas. That World Heat is just round the corner from my training centre in Denton, and I went went to see their managing director, Mark Sidebottom, and he has donated this cylinder to us for absolutely nothing. So I'd just like to thank Mark Sidebottom and his brother for this fantastic cylinder. So, as you can see, it's all pre-plumbed for us. So let's get them now into the classroom and get them installed. I knew it was a big box, but I I was hoping there was going to be more packaging so it would be small. I can't believe the size of that bloody heat pump. It's too big. Anyway, come on, got to get her in there now and get her installed. Now, as you can see, we've got the cylinder and the heat pump kind of in position in the classroom. So let's have a quick look at the components for each of these. Now, let's start with this cylinder. Now, this is an unvented cylinder. So we have a standard combination valve. So this is where our cold water will come in. This is where our expansion vessel goes. And this is would be the balance cold. And as you can see, the cylinder has everything written on it as well. This then goes into the cylinder. Remember, this is 150 litres. This is the secondary turn, if we were ever going to put a secondary turn on it. 
And this is where our hot outlet comes. We've then got our seven bar pressure relief valve going to our D1 pipe and then into our tun dish. And this is gonna go straight through the floor here because there is a drain in the cellar. We've then got the Daikin controller, which I don't know anything about yet, but I'm sure I will. If we come down then, we can see we've got a three kilowatt immersion heater. Now, if we look on this side here, you can see the cylinder coil and the buffer are linked. So this is the return pipe because you can see we've got a filter. So this is the return from the heat pump. We've got a pressure gauge on there because we've also got a built-in filler loop, which comes down. So if that side's a return, this side must be the flow. So this is where our heat pump is gonna come on. So this is our flow. Comes into the three port valve. So we can either go to the coil or it can go through the buffer. Then you can see we've got a central heating pump because that's our space heating return. If we look here, we've got our space heating flow. We have an air vent for the buffer. We have a drain point. So that's the basic components of this unvented cylinder. Now this is the Daikin Altherma 3M heat pump and it is 4.3 kilowatts. And as you can see, I've taken the side panels off and the top so we can have a look inside of these components. Now the first thing you can see is the control panel. So down here at the bottom is where the main power will come in. And this uh, block we've got here is where all our control wires will come. Now, to move this out of the way, all we have to do is press this little lever down here and this will swing out of the way. So we can now take a look at the components here. Now, if we look around the back first, you can see we've got our flow and return connections from the heat pump to the cylinder. And we've got our cable glands to allow all the wiring to come through. Now, the heat pump does come with this one return isolation valve, which you will find down here in a packet. But the connection from the valve to the flexi hose, we've had to come up with this galvanised barrel nipple um, because that doesn't actually connect onto there. Seems a bit weird, but there you go. And that is the only valve they give you. You can also see on the back here, we have a seven litre expansion vessel. So if we come back here, now this plug here is if you put glycol in, you have to take this off and put a flow switch in there. It then comes to, looks like a standard central heating pump. And if we go up, we can see it looks like we've got a uh, pressure relief valve and that then terminates underneath the unit down here. Here you can see the flow switch. And if we go around the front, this one you can see here is a pressure sensor. So if we continue at the top, you can see we've got an automatic air vent. And then we've got our plate to plate heat exchanger or our condenser. Now let's have a look inside from the top. So first of all, down here, we can see the plastic bladed fan. So these plastic. Then you can see the evaporator bends round, made out of copper. So the heat exchanger, where it's gonna draw all the heat and the air passes through here and then comes out through the front. So not a lot in that side, as you can see. So that's the key components in this Daikin Altherma 3M monoblock 
SOS heat pump. So the last thing to look at is this customer interface. And this customer interface even comes with a little SD card, which allows you to operate this using your mobile phone. So that'll be a good video to show when we actually get this up and running. Now, that's my look at unboxing. In the next few videos, we're going to look at installing and commissioning this Daikin monoblock air source heat pump and this uh, unvented cylinder with the buffer tanking. So hopefully you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.